it's time to dust off your favorite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the thunder from down under, a man on a quest to make money for beer. Can Owen Duggan take 1860 Munich all the way to the Champions League final? Let's find out in today's episode of the Youth Edition. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another year of FIFA, FIFA 23, and this is this year's Youth Edition. Now, things are a little bit different. We've got new menus, new things going on in FIFA. Uh, unfortunately, the anti-cheat has had a few technical issues for us, and there's no mods available at this stage. Once those mods do become available, if they become available, we'll look to incorporate things that we've used over the last few years into this save. But for now, it's a vanilla series. If you're not familiar with the Youth Edition series, what we do here is take a team in the bottom league. We only use Youth Academy players and an odd regen or two. We do have rules in place for regens where we cannot sign any regen if they are a higher rating than our top rated player. So if we only have a, a 65 rated Youth Academy player as our best player, we can't sign any regens higher than that rating. So it keeps things interesting. Now we are in Liga 3, the first time we've been to Germany in a Youth Edition series, and we are using the team 1860 Munich. They do have a big history, and um, yeah, we're looking to get them back up into European football, of course. Now, uh, we have thought that it might be too easy using them, but I can guarantee you it's going to be a very tricky few seasons here for Owen Duggan and 1860 Munich. Uh, we've got a lot to take care of. It's the first episode. We've got to try and get a squad together ready for that first game of the season. And of course, that's going to come down to Youth Academy players and regents. So let's jump into FIFA 23. Let's jump in to the Youth Edition. Right, at this stage, our former players haven't joined us as scouts. We've got some uh, one-star scouts here at the moment. Once uh, the mods become in play, maybe some of the former Hartlepool lads will come and join Owen Duggan here at 1860 Munich to help him out. But at the moment, we've got Gregor Rathman from Germany and Emanja Gr Grabasic. I'm going to murder names. It happens on this channel. Uh, from Serbia and Gadel Amen from Saudi Arabia. Now, currently we are scouting Germany, Serbia and Northern Ireland. Owen Duggan, of course, from Northern Ireland. So we want some talent there. Uh, any physically strong and goalkeepers. Now, as a part of my series, as always, I want to give you guys the opportunity to pick countries that we go and scout. Unfortunately, we don't have the mods at this stage, so it needs to be all vanilla uh, scouting countries. So if you've got the game, you can see all the scouting countries there. There's nothing really new uh, in regards to new countries to scout so leave me a comment down below on a country that you'd like to see a scout um, and what type physically strong defensive minded all that kind of good stuff and if there's one comment there that you think you want to scout that too put a thumbs up on it because generally the ones with the most thumbs up tell me that's where everyone wants to go and that's where we try and scout through the series so good luck get those comments down below the good news is that we have quite a uh, substantial amount of players in our current youth academy from the startup um, so we will be able to uh, fill a little bit of the squad out from the get-go let's have a look at what we've got here at the moment we've got roberto vega he is from ecuador a goalkeeper but he's only 15 so we can't can't utilize his services just yet. 73 to 94 potential. Looks okay. Uh, six foot three for the start of the series would be handy, but obviously we need to wait for him to turn 16. We've got Pierre Pierre from France. Five foot 10, 55 to 77 potential. Not the best. Obviously, there's dynamic potential and the likes in this series. So who knows? Maybe he's a diamond in the rough that's here in nine seasons' time. Who knows? But uh, yeah, let's get him our first signing. Next up, we have Il Song Shin from the Republic of Korea. 46 rated central defensive midfielder, 66 to 90. Felt he was better as a left back at the moment. So uh, we've got those development plans on. But uh, let's get him signed up, the 17 year old. Left midfielder, we've got Hernan Garrido from Uruguay, 62 to 84 potential. Currently 60 overall. And he's got the long throw in trait. So uh, should be able to fill a role for us here, at least in season number one. Let's get him signed up. Right, the homegrown talent is Dennis Walter, currently a left winger, uh, 5'5", five 77 to 94 potential, 65 overall. So uh, definitely going to be a big part of this series, you'd feel, if you can uh, hit that potential. Dennis Walter, the German, welcome to the club. Next up, we have the Serbian Branko Maric, uh, currently a centre forward, 47 to 65 potential. is a little bit stressful, but uh, he's got some okay stats, and uh, he is a playmaker. Yeah, all right. 
Let's get him in. And finally, from the Youth Academy, Ruben Sands from Chile. 48 to 66 potential. It's a bit dire here. But uh, we need players for the first game of the season. And that is in a very precarious position. We'll cover that shortly. And well, let's get Ruben Sands into the squad. Right, we do have the old faithful formation set up. It is a... Uh, a 4-1-2-3 sort of, oh, whatever you want to call it. We've got left backs, two centre backs, right back. A central defensive midfielder, a centre midfielder and a cam. Right mid, left mid and a striker. Now, uh, of course, we've got some players still left over. We need to replace the cam. Um, we've got a centre forward here playing CDM at the moment. We need a right back, a couple of centre backs for sure. Uh, and we'll have to wait and see what is available in the free agent list. Right, if we take a look at the calendar, I've already uh, got through to the 8th of July. And we can see that the first game of the regular season starts on the 24th of July. So we're not even going to have time for the Youth Academy reports to come back uh, to fill out the squad. So really, we need to dip into the free agency early. Some of these players may be only utilised in the first season. But um, if there's players under that 65 rating, we probably need to sign them up. Right, we do need to take a look at the objectives for our first season. There is a lot of critical task here for Owen Duggan. Uh, youth development is critical. They want us to sign three academy position players in the defender role. Um, okay, let's hope that we can pull that one off. Uh, we've already signed three players younger than 20, so that's fine. And long term, have three players. We will do that comfortably. Brand exposure, get 15 games with at least one goal scored. That could be tricky. Uh, no continental, of course. Domestically, avoid finish in the bottom part of the league. Reach the round of 16 in the DFB Pacal. Yeah, right. And uh, within four seasons, win the league title. Uh, okay. We've got four seasons. Hopefully we can do it before then. And financially, we want to finish the window with a million euros profit and keep the player salary growth under 15%. So we need to be very careful here with the free agents that we do sign as well. We've got to watch out for that player salary growth. Right, so I have done a little bit of scouting already and we can already see that there's three players here that are four players not in contention for us currently. Uh, we can't sign the goalkeeper because he's 71 rated. We can't sign the centre back because he's 71 rated. We can go after uh, Geza Pap from Hungary, a right wing back centre back, five foot nine. 51 rated. We're probably going to have to sign him up. Another centre-back would be quality, but in my rules, he's not available. Uh, we've got a Northern Irish central attacking midfielder in Kevin Robinson. He could be very handy. We don't know what Tom Martin is yet, and uh, he's German as well. And unfortunately, Bubakar Wusu from Ghana at 66 rated is not available for us at the moment. If one of our players ticks over to 66 and he's still available, we can then go and grab a Wusu. But for now, let's try and get Pap and Robinson into this squad. All right, got a little bit of a cut scene here as uh, Pap has uh, made his free agent signing. I won't show you all these cutscenes. They'll get pretty tiresome, but new to FIFA 23. Here's Owen Duggan, just welcoming him, welcoming him to the club. He seems busy. He's got uh, probably catching some Pokemon Go or something like that. Uh, and then a little bit of a, a training session here just to make sure that, it, you know, he's up to scratch, gets his new kit. And welcome to the club. Right, so we pick up Gezapap from uh, Hungary, right wing back, centre back, and uh, just to turn him into a right back is apparently going to take 40 weeks. Uh, that's a little bit mental. And we also pick up the central attacking midfielder in Kevin Robinson, right footed, three star, three star at the moment. Uh, 58 rated, so hopefully can do a little job for us. And of course, Northern Irish, so... Uh, should fit in nicely with Owen Duggett. First preseason tournament fixture against Crawley Town. It's a 2-1 win. We'll take that. And we get the final scout report back in on Tom Martin. 57 rated striker. Uh, six foot three. Could be handy. Let's get him across the line. All right, taking a look at how the squad is filling out. Martin can go up top. And it means that Sands is going to try his role at centre back with uh, pretty much no defending. So we've only got Sahail and the goalkeeper in Gould uh, to, to fill out in this squad. But I just... We can't sign those other players just yet, although Walter's hit a 66, so that means we could go and sign Bubakar. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have a goalkeeper available, and we'll have to use Gould here. So, uh, yeah, 66 for Walter. That's some quick growth, so we can go ahead and, and sign Bubakar. Bubakar Owusu, the 66-rated striker. Uh, let's get him across the line then. Second game preseason tournament is a 3-0 destruction. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> squad <sighs> it's thin right our final preseason tournament fixture is a 2-0 loss so that'll probably see us out of the tournament that's fine 
little bit of match fitness and sharpness for the lads. Right, just to give you an indication of uh, what we're doing here on this series, it's six minute halves. And uh, I'm going to go with ultimate difficulty once again. I mean, I know it's a struggle. Uh, I still haven't done the testing to see if it's a 99 stat boost and all that crap that they did to us in the last couple of titles. But uh, we'll do it again. We'll go with ultimate. We'll make it hard. We're leaving competitor mode and player based difficulty off. If this proves to be something stupid uh we may drop to legendary and try out some of these settings and some sliders and all that kind of stuff but to start we will start on ultimate uh make it as hard as possible right what we also like to do on this channel if you're not familiar is to give you guys the opportunity to upgrade players so what you need to do in the comment section is write the name and his name is walter uh pick him a new number and uh give me anything that you want to change with his kit whether that be uh sleeves jersey um boots gloves wristbands all that kind of good stuff just let me know put his name what number you want any changes you want to make to his kit and uh thumbs up on the ones you like whoever gets the most thumbs up generally we'll get the player upgrade good luck right it is time to kick off the league of three season we've got Borussia Dortmund two um okay that could be a, a fair challenge straight away uh so we go with a Wusu up top Robinson Garrido Maric Pierre Walter uh Martin Shin Sands and Pap Sands and Shin of course are both strikers playing uh center back and Gould unfortunately has to play this game because we don't have a keeper we are scouting for a youth academy keeper um that should be back very, very soon. It's the 24th of July. I think we've got two games to play possibly uh, before we get those first scout reports. But uh, let's see what we can do here at the opening game of the season. Owen Duggan and 1860 Munich. Right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Opening day of the Liga 3 season. Owen Duggan is going to try and get 1860 Munich off to a cracker. But, uh, you know, it's a long, hard road and uh, a big, big... A big, big team to get back to European football. So uh, here we go. Let's see what these boys are made of. And Dortmund early on the attack, and we're trying out this new EA camera. Oh, Gold called into action early, and it will be a corner for Dortmund too. Now, uh, do let me know in the comments section uh, if you're happy with this new camera. We'll test it out. If not, we'll go back to the old tally broadcast. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on the camera angles for this one. And uh, we can look to update that in future episodes. But a corner now for Dortmund 2. Oh. Well, there's the first fucking goal conceded. 12 minutes in. And Dortmund 2 have the lead. Is their home fixture. But, uh, yeah, some dubious defensive decisions. It's going to be tough for our defensive line. That None of them are really recognized full defenders except for uh pap i believe but that is not marked and really poor from the keeper as well one nil he push his way inside a bit sloppy on the touch but gets it inside robinson pulls the trigger and now first shot on goal we'll get a corner oh the tackle's been missed and bang counter attack football well, shit a biscuit, it's 2-0. Norman 2 taking full control in this one. I don't know about you, I'm not sold on the camera angle. I can't work out how far back we are on our defensive line. Uh, 1860 Munich are uh, a little bit out of their depth here at the moment. And it's 2-0. Oh, this could get disturbing. 3-0 Dortmund 2. Our defensive line has no idea. And once again, we need to find our way out of a brown paper bag, which I don't think is a possibility for these lads at the moment. The defensive awareness is shambolic. Who is marking this lad up? I can't tell if it's offside or not. And that is terrible. 3-0. Oh, our defensive line is just getting turned here. No pressure. 4-0. <laughs> oh, dear. 25 minutes gone and 1860 Munich are being put to the sword. Well, we're hoping for a, uh, you know, a controlled display, but 
This defensive line sitting quite high, in fact. And just nothing from this goalkeeper. He won't be here for long. Oh, he slipped through again. Fuck! 5-0 Dortmund 2. This is some hot sauce to handle, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a long, long, long road as long as Owen Duggan can keep his job. Oh, dear. I mean, it's opening day of the season. There's still a lot of work to do here. Our defence, for starters, needs some assistance. Walter drops one in. A lot of height there. Wins the header. Yeah, wins the... Football, but there we go. Half time, 5 0 down on the opening day of the season, and we're in some real trouble. Well, we've got a free kick here, the new free kick system. We didn't score a single free kick on FIFA 22, so I'm glad that this has been changed up. We'll see what we can do here with Walter. Oh, not a bad effort. Oh, this camera angle is... Yeah, I don't know if it's for me. I'm struggling to get the angles right for uh, tackles. It might be good for, uh, you know, watching the footage back, but definitely tricky to find out where you are defensively. Garrido. Works his way forward. Down the wing, down the corner store. Looks for a Wusu. Can't get him. Garrido covers and doesn't. Now gets the ball forward here. There's Garrido. We'll play it inside. Oh, good save. Well, we don't have any substitutions to make either because there's no one on the bench that we're allowed to use. So these boys are going to have to run it out. Oh, there's their sixth. Well, we've done pretty well after half time. They get another one, 6 0 to Borussia Dortmund, too. And, uh, yeah, a long way to go here, you'd feel, for 1860 Munich. I mean, to be fair, we're using some 40-rated players, a lot of out of position. Oh, we need a few nice little uh, squad reports to be very kind to us. Uh, get this squad at least competitive here in Liga 3. 6-0. Shithouse goalkeeping. Well, I mean, the defender just got butt-fucked out of the way, and uh, it is another one. 7-0. It's all five minutes to go. And 1860 Munich looking to get back on the bus and get the hell out of here. That defender just got pushed over. Look at this. Ugh. <laughs> oh, disgraceful. Come on. Late corner here for Borussia Dortmund too. 7-0 is the scoreline. And 1860 Munich just wanting to get out of here now. There's the whistle. A frustrating day in the office. No real chances. And uh, we failed to score as well. And this man picked himself up five fucking goals. Shit, he'll be happy with that. Well, in the end, we tried to control some possession, but 21 shots to nine. Uh, we tried 28 tackles and only three landed. So that's pretty much the same story as we've seen over the last few FIFA titles. I can't tackle. But uh, yeah, a frustrating defeat. We roll on. It's early days. Right, it is time for our first home fixture of the season. 1860 Munich at the Grunwalder Stadium hosting uh, Victoria Cologne. And um, yeah, we go with an unchanged lineup because we've brought no players in. I'm going to try uh, the telebroadcast camera out on this one. So do let me know your thoughts. If you would prefer a different camera, I will try and adjust and uh, get better. But uh, we're going to go back with the old camera settings that we used on FIFA 22 and probably the last five or six FIFAs the way I set it up. Telebroadcast with a custom uh, height of 18 and a custom zoom of three. So uh, let's get into this one and see if the boys can put on a better performance than a 7-0 loss. <sighs> Come on, lads. Right, ladies and gentlemen, our first home game of the season. The fans have shown up in their droves to try and support Owen Duggan today. But uh, after a dismal performance on the road, we'll want to do something better here at home. Come on, lads. Sands. Get forward now, Pierre. 
Lays it off. Walter. The dodge and weave his way through. Some sort of traffic. Finds Owusu. Owusu works his way inside. Oh, unlucky. From Garrido. Robinson. Pierre. Back for Robinson. Back for Garrido. Back for Robinson. Looks inside. Finds Owusu. He dodges and weaves his way through the traffic. Finds us some space now. That is shithouse from Martin. I mean, we can't be expecting too much. We've got strikers pretty much all across the back line. Oh, he's handed it to him. A Wusu! Oh, 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 can't punish his big mistake. Martin. Get inside for Pierre. Oh, he's bloody slow on the ball, but he gets it through here for Robinson. Lays it through. A Wusu! Oh, good save again. Oh, fuck me. Is he flags here? No, he's not. Victoria Cologne have the opening goal. We lasted 37 minutes, so uh, better thus far. But still, once again, got a lot of work to do. It's going to be a long journey. It's going to be a long road. But if you stick it out, I'm sure you'll get to see something special in this series. What a cross. What are the defenders doing? I mean, uh, we can't put too much reliance on them. Two strikers playing center back. Keep his shit, that's for sure. One nil. Oh, fuck. Okay. Two nil, Victoria Cologne. We cannot defend these crosses. I mean, it's not something that you've really seen from the CPU AI over the last few titles, but uh, they are crossing for fun now. Look at the space that these lads are getting. They're attacking with prowess and now keeper. Been hung out to dry again by his defenders. He wasn't even fucking looking. Oh, the goal's there, man. I know how to fucking score. <laughs> yeah, all right, mate. Yeah, fucking Owen Duggan. He's he's gonna gonna be on the whiskeys, you'd feel. Two nil. And there's half time. Two nil down at home. Yeah, Pierre. Lays it off now, Walter. Has some space. Brings it forward. A Wusu. Yeah. Robinson. There's Garrido. Oh, just didn't have the opening he was looking for. His pass is picked out as well. Oh, Pierre. Pierre gave it away in the midfield. Fuck! I mean, he's 41 rated. I can't expect too much, but Jesus Christ. Dig in. Have a fucking go, lads. 3-0, Victoria Cologne. <sighs> Youth Academy reports can't come soon enough. Need some reinforcements very quickly. Especially defensively. 3-0. That is fucking disgraceful. Absolutely fucking disgraceful. Our defenders are just fucking tiptoeing around the fucking fact that they should be finger deep inside these attackers just sitting back and watching not much we can do about it look at our defensive line that's that's shit -housery. fuck me 4-0 Martin yeah Robinson Owusu oh my days oh no and Owusu's injured no we don't need injuries now Garrido offside. Well, there is the whistle. I guess we can take it. It's a better performance at 4-0, but a lot of work to do here. And let's hope Wusu doesn't have an injury because our squad is non-existent. Well, six shots apiece, pretty even on the passing stats. Uh, attempted 30 tackles and only landed six. Our defense needs help. Very much so. Right, just a bruised shoulder for Owusu. He'll be available again in five days. Let's hope we don't have a game before then. Right, the Youth Academy reports came in and there was a couple of players that we, you know, not the best potentials, but we need players now. Uh, Cathel Boyle, the Northern Irish goalkeeper. He's going to have to come in 50 rated, 63 to 85 potential. Uh, probably not better than our current keeper, but he's a Youth Academy player, so he gets promoted to the senior team. Vega not ready, still 15. We signed Sasson Novak from Serbia, 45 rated CDM, 61 to 81 potential. Maybe he could be a centre-back 
who knows let's just get him in first and foremost and also dario Janor jan jovanovic jovanovic okay 46 rated center midfield up 57 to 77 not the highest but uh yeah we need players and he comes right time to get into some cup action the dfb pakal uh we're gonna move things around a little bit with the new acquisitions uh jovanovic is gonna play in the midfield pierre goes to right back and uh novak goes to center back but uh we've got a cup team now with the two substitutions so we'll put martin up top Boyle gets a start and um yeah let's see what we can do here in the cup against holstein kill all right ladies and gentlemen here we go the dfb Bacal. and uh well reach the round of 16 unlikely we'll probably go out in the first round let's do it Playing back now for Pap. Inside, finds Maric. Jovanovic getting busy here early. Pulls the trigger, works the keeper. He's had a couple of siders. Oh. All right, straight through. <laughs> the new goalkeeper. Oh, baptism of fire, that's for sure. And we're 1-0 down. I mean, oh, well. Well, I, mean, I don't know what we can expect this early on in the campaign. As long as Owen Duggan can get the boys rallied and maybe pick up a few results here and there, start finding out, you know, which players have some potential. But uh, the goalkeeper there didn't even react. 1-0. Oh, good save from Boyle. Here we go. He's got a hand on it. His first save for 1860 Munich. Good from Garrido. Pap. Flips one throw. Maric. Sands. Jovanovic. Drives his way forward again. Holds up the plate. Needs some assistance. Needs some run. Gets it now. Robinson. Back for Jovanovic. Oh, he's got an opening here. No, he doesn't. Picked out. Although well, we're calling for offside, it doesn't matter. It's 2-0 and 1860 Munich. <laughs> Same story, different day. 2-0, not even half time. Look at him. They're all raising their hand for offside. Play the fucking whistle, lads. Mark your fucking man. 2-0. 3-0. Oh, this is terrible defensive work. <laughs> All you can do is fucking laugh, because if you get too angry, you know it's going to come. You know that DK rage will will start brewing. Uh, for now, the culprit probably is the fact that we've still got strikers playing defensive roles and a 50-rated goalkeeper. Three nil. Oh, again. And now it is four nil. They've just turned it on here in the last five minutes. And we are well out of our depth. Well, this should make for an interesting episode, shouldn't it? Goals conceded. I'm not even going to have a thumbnail at this fucking rate. Fuck me. 4 0. Can we score? Who knows? Half time. Time to wake up. 4 0 down. It's going to go from bad to worse. 5 0. Straight out of the blocks after half time. And 1860 Munich. I mean, it's a team full of children. No defensive pressure, no defensive awareness. And the goalkeeper. It is looking like he is going to have a long season. His first game, he's conceded five. Maric. Jovanovic. Drives his way forward. Jovanovic! Oh! We've got a goal, ladies and gentlemen. He's just signed a youth academy contract. Gets his debut here in the cup. And it's the first goal for 1860 Munich. We're going into some hyper motion. Oh, fuck me.
Distance to goal, 15.3. And he's absolutely burly one. Oh, and Duggan loves it. Gets in. Yeah. Inside, Jovanovic. Let's forward again. Lays it off. Martin. Picked out. The tackle. Marich. Garrido. Jovanovic! Unlucky. A couple of substitutions. Awusu and Shin check in for Martin and Marich. Oh, Boyle. Big save. Yes, lad. That's what we want to see. Saves. It yeah. was at this moment that he knew. Help here. He fucked oh, Saints. That's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Jesus. We need some defenders. Seriously. Talk about losing your fucking coconuts. That is an absolute bell end of an effort. What has he done there? Just needed to play it back to the goalkeeper. Idiot. Well, there's the whistle, a 6-1 defeat. We're out of the cup, but that's probably good for us. We don't need extra games right now. We scored our first goal, though. Four goals for Pishlock. Well, even possession and shots, we're, we're in the game. Uh, unfortunately, we can't tackle, we can't defend, and uh, it's costing us 6-1 out of the cup. Right, and that's where we're going to finish episode one. Just the three games for you. Normally, we would have four, but uh, with the extra managerial stuff, we, you know, take it down to three just so that the episodes aren't an hour long. Uh, a really poor start, but that was probably to be expected. Let me know your thoughts and comments on cameras and uh, difficulty, all that kind of good stuff. We sit in 20th. Negative 11 goal difference. Um, haven't scored in the league yet, but we've got our first goal through Jovanovic. So, uh, you know... It won't take long for, for us to, you know, work our way off the bottom of the table. We're not going to do anything crazy this season. It's all about sort of building that squad and uh, finding those diamonds in the rough. So, uh, yeah, a long, hard road here for Owen Duggan. Hopefully we can keep our job. But for now, that's where we finish up. Thanks for joining in. I'm Spiring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon, and if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here. And if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the videos...